Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Dove Limbs. I return to Dove Limbs, a broken man. That's mostly on account of level 8 from the last time, but we're going to press on, and we're going to forget that, and we're going to move ahead. Live from the Pentagon, President Obama has a special message. You are extremely good at Dove Limbs around the wheel. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. How flattering. This is a very webby level. I like it. It reminds me of Walk the Web Rope, except there's more of a... Uh, not gothic, but uh, not gothic like goth either. But you know, gothic in the in the creepy old architecture style. You know, something very just macabre about it. That's the word I'm looking for. 100%, 98 to be saved. Two minutes. Maybe I can make a blocker trap and be done with it. Maybe it's just a simple matter of getting through this thing. I guess we'll find out. Let's see. I have 20 builders. Uh, okay, one basher, one basher. One digger, also. Ooh, this is gonna be... This may turn out to be interesting, actually. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, I only have one basher, you say. I guess I'm going to have to just allow myself to... Dig? And then the... Where would be the best place to bash, though? One blocker, one bomber. Oh, one bomber. That's troublesome. Uh, where do I start blocking from, then? Mr. Crazy Game, how do I... How do you propose I do this? Um... Oh, wow. I don't even know where to begin. Where to start. Where... Because everything is so thin. Because I have to... I feel like digging down onto this might be part of the way, but... But blowing up a blocker is just going to be bad news, because I'm going to blow them up and then, uh... You know, if I have enough builders to get through it, then it shouldn't be a problem, but... I guess therein lies the rub. Is getting through that. Going through the top isn't going to be possible. I'm going to have to find a good, cheap way through the bottom. And what that way is... Not sure, but I will find out, rest assured. One release rate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a dig. I'm going to dig very carefully, though, so that they can still walk onto the... Uh, so they can still walk onto this. I have 20 builders. That's quite a few. So I feel okay about that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my guy up. Actually, let's see what happens here. They may walk up into this business. I hope they don't walk over into another piece of the web. That would be that would be just awful. No, they don't do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get some business going. Let's let's tend to some business here. Um, what is the best way to go about this? Uh, maybe to uh, I was gonna say maybe to build or. I feel like you got to dig through that. I feel like that's the first order of business. And then we got to build a thing for them to get through here. I'm going to bump my head over here. And then when I bomb the guy, that's going to allow me to... Uh... Oh, and I'm running out of time already. So maybe, it's, maybe it should be implemented more quickly than this. Ooh, this is scary. I don't see him walking through the... Actually, I don't see him hitting his head on this thing. And I don't see him walking through the deal too easily. I gotta get a guy going ahead to build to the exit in pretty short order. No climbers or floaters. Pretty sure about that. Yeah. I'm not gonna hit my head on this, am I? This is... I'm gonna have to find a safe way for them to get down. But I don't know how to get through all this mess. Yeah, this is... Oh, what I've got going here is a mess. That's for sure. Holy mother... Oh, whatever is going on here, it's going to be holy mother creative. Yes. Yeah, yeah, why don't we just kill all the rest of y'all too? In fact, why should he get a head start? That's not fair. Let's see him blow up in the air. Ah, that was therapeutic. Okay, our little man is just digging up a storm here. I think... That took way too much time last time doing this. So I think I'm going to have to send out a second guy to do it. But first, while we're just kind of playing around here, 
I don't intend to solve this just yet, but I want to see what this basher is capable of. Because there's no way to build up through this. And he'll just walk and turn around if he hits it. So I want to see what he can do bashing through it. <laughs> well, that's intriguing. And he'll go through that wall and then... Okay, he's not going to bash through the... Whoa, he just about did bash through the floor. But he can get up through that. And then he can be the one that builds to the end. Okay, nice. Nice, yeah. Now I got to... Well, he can go ahead and do that. So if I send a second guy... If I send a second guy, I'm going to have to figure out how to multitask this. First of all, I need to figure out how to get a second guy to go down, even. That is going to be a task all its own. I don't know. So after I start digging, like so, I need to send down a second guy. So I have my basher to go through here, and my blocker and bomber to keep everybody safe up here. That means whoever this is that goes down is going to have to keep himself safe via building. So, he's going to have to drop to the bottom, strictly by way of Builder. So, let's try, to, let's try to see when this lines up, and I'm going to hold up for Walker. No! Hmm. So, he basically needs to build long enough to stall while this guy digs, is what I'm getting at. Is he needs to build long enough, he needs to hit his head, maybe go a few times even and get to the bottom without floating. <laughs> I don't know about that one, sir. So ride that stick. Ride that disco stick. And now, you block. And I can send the rest out. Now I just have to build from far enough back to where they don't splat. That's going to be a task in itself. Um... Oh boy, yeah, now you won't fall down the next time, though, and you are far from safe. Yeah, oh no! Now I have to build exactly while he's on the pole, so that he falls back on the pole. Ooh, that's a tiny space. And that's the kind of precision that made me so mad last time, but I'm not going to let it get to me this time, because this isn't nearly as long a level. Alright, I might be able to do this with some really diligent pausing, so let's try that. No, he's already falling. Awesome. Okay. Wow, boy. It's going to have to be even more diligent than that. Can I do this? I think I might even have to make it a little farther. But... Oh! <laughs> okay, will he fall from there and... Will he be able to make it on his own, though? Can he make it on his own? Looks like we made it! Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Okay, so now I gotta just blow him up and probably start him building uh, pretty early on. Probably from about here is a good angle. Oh, my. This is gonna be... This is gonna be the home record right here, though. So go ahead and... Alright, from this point, replaying it shouldn't be too bad. And I can just start building whenever I like, so... That is my prerogative. Ain't that right, Britney Spears? That's my prerogative. So you start from about here. And yes, you both have very discreet build times. So I am very happy with that. Uh, looks like even... No, I better... I feel like I made my blocker at a bad time, actually. Because they might... Some are going to spill out now and I think maybe go to the left. This is a bit of a concern. This is a bit of a sticky... A sticky turd, so... As soon as... And sending them out, even. Gosh, this is going to be a heck of a walk. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bomb now, though, because the bridge is pretty well set, so... I guess it all depends on them at this point. Yeah, some of them are walking off in the wrong direction. I put that blocker in the wrong place. That was very bad. This is all very bad. And I even doubt some of them are going to make it. So I may want to start... Ooh, that's going to be tight. This is going to be a time-intensive level. Oh my god. Okay, he's 
positioned in a much better spot now. As a matter of fact, they can probably just walk off the ramp and he's done. So now it's all about sending them at the right time. And I think that time is going to be pretty much now. So we better get this show on the road. Yeah, they got 30-some seconds to walk to that little... And then, of course, he walks off the edge and he's done. He's the last one. Oh, God, 27 seconds to make that walk? Oh, my God. I probably should have been a little more confident than to send them out when I did, but they're, they're right behind him. I probably got a few more good seconds there. <laughs> oh, God, my heart's beating fast. My heart's racing. No! <laughs> oh! Agonizing. Agonizing. Ouch! That was like the living's equivalent of like breaking your arm or something. That didn't make a lick of sense. But then again, what in this game does anymore? Alright, bombing starts as soon as now. Okay, he's building his next-to-last bridge by the time they all start coming out. I think he's going to have time from this point. So now we just got him spilling out. There are several coming that weren't hitting up against the web, so that's good. So, yeah, this is crammed pretty closely, but this time, this time I got the timing down, I think. So I'm not as scared this time. I'm still scared. I think we're still going to manage this with less than 10 seconds on the clock, but... For a Mazo level, that's like, that's good Mazo difficulty to me, is like, basically mayhem on steroids. That felt like a mayhem level that I was expected to do much more quickly than probably normally you would get for mayhem. Because even at this point, I think maybe mayhem levels are pretty easy. I have a pretty low opinion of the difficulty curve of the original Lemmings at this point. Now, now what I've been through, this is like... <laughs> this is like the Vietnam of Lemmings. This is like me and other people who have played Dove Limbs are going to see each other in the street. We're going to give each other that look like, I was there, man. I was there, man. 2013, March. That was my tour. <laughs> oh, man. Not to downplay people who have actually been to war, by the way. Your service is very much honored and respected. But, <laughs> you know. Maybe not the best metaphor. Let's move on from it then. Let's go ahead and not replay that. Not replay it at all. I don't want to relive that at all. That was rough. But I think we're going to have to do it with maybe two levels today. Two levels might be... <laughs> Whoa! I like! Maybe going to have to deal with... Uh, maybe doing two levels today will help me deal with the stress of yesterday. So... Let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The maximum number of entry hatches allowed by uh allowed by Lim Mini. So forty lemmings, gotta save them all. Gee, I wonder if there's gonna be some building involved. We do have, however, some exits I think poking out of here. That looks pretty nifty. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, I have twelve builders, which I feel might be exactly enough. Yeah, there's there's little entry hatches, or exit. There's little exit torches here. I think that's just for decoration. I don't think there's actually any exits going on in there. But I don't have any blockers, which sounds about right. And a release rate of 14? That is, uh, well, that's highly unusual. Um... Okay, two in one. How are we going to get everybody out of here? We have three bashers. That's one, that's two, and that's three. And one miner, two dig two diggers. Okay, we need to get everybody to one space, essentially. One, and two. And I feel like maybe if we mine down here, I feel like this is kind of gimmicky, in a way. But we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. Um... Let's go ahead and, uh, oh good, he pops out first. He probably needs to go on and do a thing. That's probably really good, actually. So, I'm going to go ahead and have him bash. Okay, good. Very good. Hmm, wait a minute. If 
I bash here and then dig here and then bash here and then dig here. Wait. Is there a way? No, there's no way to do everybody all at once. So. One, two. Wait, one and then two bash. I think the thing is getting them all out of here because defending everybody is not going to be the hard part. Uh, what's going to be hard is getting them all out once it's done because I think I'm going to need to mine through a bridge. That much is certain. Now we have... Let's see. Let's, let's, let's piece this out. Okay. I have, time to, I have time to think about this, I think. Let's go ahead and just start you off building. And then... I think I already did this wrong. Uh, okay, so the hard part is getting them all together over here. We want to get them down, I think, into the bottom. Or maybe not even that, because... Maybe we need to bash through here or mine them. I think we need to mine those guys out. So I'm going to I'm going to keep on moving for now. I'm going to keep on moving with this whole business. I think this is going to take a lot of multitasking and I'm going to have to eventually figure out how to piece it down to its basest elements. Obviously, we're going to save these people by building a bridge here that bumps up into the wall. So that I am not worried about. I'm not worried about getting these guys to exit. I'm not worried about anything like that. And I think well, maybe we should... I bet we're going to have to bash through here at the end. That's probably the way to get them out of here. So I need to figure out how to do this. And uh, let's go ahead and... What's going on with the builder? Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and mine them out. And he probably needs a replenishment soon. Yes. Okay, so... If we bash, and then dig... And then bash, and then dig... I've only got two bashers left, though. Well, one for here. So I have to figure out how to use one basher, essentially right here. Uh, one digger. And then... How do I get the... These guys are going to have to come out this way, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and keep tabs on... Okay, this can be pieced out. This can be pieced out. It's just going to take some real math. So... Going to take some real allotment of resources. Okay, they can walk out of there. So that's definitely where the miner gets used. So not a problem at all. And I'm going to have to bash through this bridge at the end. Because I'm going to have to dig these guys out somehow. And that is going to be that is going to be where the real trouble starts. Because I only have three bashers and two diggers. So now I need to get them out of this. Oh, I have climbers. I have a climber. That might come in really useful. So what is... Ooh, what do these three climbers do? That adds a whole new element to the equation. I need to think about this one. Where do the... Oh, ho, ho. Maybe. Maybe. If I got, hmm, but then these guys over here, if you climb up the wall, that's one thing. You can climb up the wall and you can do all the digging you want, but then you can do all the, okay, you do the digging and then Climber goes, I guess make him build a turn around or something and he can, he can get the people out. There's a steel area right here, though. That's there, There's no steel area right there, though. That's worrisome. I want to see if I can actually go through that, though. I want to see if that... Is this a steel area or not? Because that will change the game considerably. Yes! That's steel. Okay. And probably the same down here. Okay, yeah. That's steel. So I think I know how to get everybody in the same room now. Remember that one level? Ask the Oracle. Sorry, you drowned over there, buddy. Remember that one level ask the oracle where we had to go through the planks of wood i think that gimmick is being repeated here and i think i need to get a climber to go 
How many builders do I have left to accomplish this? This is probably about four more from here. So one, two to turn around. And then one, two. And then... Three. And one, two. Okay, it's going to take some crazy turnarounds, but... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to have to sit here and really piece this one out. But it feels imminently doable, at least. I feel pretty confident about that, anyway. Okay, according to science, I have... It takes eight builders to make this bridge leap. Eight. And then... One to hold them in here. So I get three builders over here also. So I can't do a lot of turning around. This has to be a pretty organic solution. Alright, start your eight bridge vegetable medley engines. That's probably a good distance to start from. Now I wonder if... I like to ask the oracle angle where you go through this, but I wonder if I'm approaching it from the wrong way. Because we got a big old wall over here. Maybe I should have guys climbing up it. And also, also I've been looking at this for a while, and I think it might be best to go up here. And I also want to... Well, I'm going to wait for another guy to come out first of all, but... Wow, man, there is a lot of time between... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye on you pretty closely. I'm also going to let him hit his head by building, because I wouldn't want to get through all of this. Because I have a feeling, knowing Dodo Chikalo, that I'm going to be using all my mining implements to successfully pull this off. My bashing, my digging. I think it's going to take all of it. So I wouldn't want to like make a bridge here to pin everybody in, and then end up not being able to get through it somehow. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be using everything so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let him hit his head and he is going to become a climber all right so and the way we solve this from we gotta allow everybody out we gotta allow everybody a way out and this is going to be multitasking like a boss okay who is gonna need attention first I guess that's what it comes down to okay Yes, and now I want you to dig from up here. Alright, that's probably good, and you can probably hit your head and go the same way. Now, 14, that's a pretty funky release rate, but I think there's a rhyme and a rhythm to it. So I'm going to go ahead. I need to get a good lot of room going here. Okay, and now... Now, if this lines up exactly... <laughs> this is going to line up exactly right. Oh my god. So, he's going to go ahead and I'm going to have him bash. No, I was doing the guy who was pointing left, which was also the digger. <laughs> and yes, this is all gone to pot. But I think that's mostly it. This is a pretty natural... And there won't be any turning around to be done right there either, so that's a... I should have pushed up for Walker, not left for left, because they're all going left. Oh my god, that was stupid. But yeah, that's pretty much bang on right there. And I gotta say, I'm liking it. Okay, now, this time, the Walker does all the hard work. So, yeah, you should start going pretty much any minute now. And now, you're not... are you still safe? Okay, good. You're still safe for now. And I think we want to do about the same thing right here. So, go ahead and uh, hit your head. And uh, we'll send you out as well. Okay, so go ahead and do it. Do it to it like a champ. In fact, I think that might be too low for him. Oh no! He fell through! Oh no, this is bad! Oh, this is bad. Uh, yeah, it's impossible now, but can he actually go up and do it? I think he can go up and do it the same old exact way, pretty much. Uh, let's make him not do that, though. Let's go ahead and see if this bears out, actually. 
I could probably, now that I think about it, actually I want everybody to be safe from this point. And I think from that point, everybody can go on if I just get all of this stuff right. Oh boy. Oh, but they would splat anyway. If I was, if I was going all this way, if I was making them do this and they were going that way, eventually when he got down to the bottom and started mining, I think they would splat. So I think... I think I need maybe two diggers right here. Or two to get this job done, rather. So, so this might be a little bit easier to pull off than I'm making it look, but... Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, start sending some guys to the exit, just to see how that bears out. Uh, there we go, he got that accomplished, and... One bridge left, even. Wow, not too bad. Awesome, okay, so yeah. Yeah, you could make this work. Only problem I have now is what if he... What if I do this, like... The only problem I have now is what if I do this... And, uh... Because I've been trying this earlier, and they just kind of curled up against the steel and then climbed up. And what if that guy does that up there, then... Okay, yeah, he won't do that there, that's for sure. But I think I've mostly got this in the bag. I think I have a way to send him to victory. And you have more than enough time to do it, too, so that's nice. Okay, so here's the little tweak in our formula coming up. I'm going to go ahead and let him climb for now. Okay, yes, and he needs to, of course, continue doing that. So now, I'm going to let him dig, and he is going to do it his own way. He'll do it his way, and I think I messed this up because I let him go too far ahead right just then. So now, oh, no, 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 no. Don't stop what you're doing. Don't stop till you get enough. So he's going to climb, and I think I did this too late. Yeah, I had him turn around too late. Yeah, it takes... This is multitasking to the extreme. But again, it's not too bad. That Ask the Oracle thing is really funny, because once you figure it out, it's like, oh, yeah, that thing. Like, we've seen this... I was going to say twice already, but we've seen that level twice already. But we've seen something like this solution once. This is just like a roided up version of it. Okay, this was hard to set up, but it's in the bag now, I think. Okay, so now start bashing. Okay, and you will also start bashing when you are good and ready. And now, okay, so now we got this guy, and he's building, and he's only got one bridge left. So now everybody should be mostly safe, and that should be all the tasking we need. Oh, I thought that one was almost a bust for a minute. Oh, that one was scary. Wait, what's your problem? Why'd you stop? You big old weirdo. Oh, and I need to dig there, too. Shoot. Wait. Oh, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, so no. I need to do that whole thing. No, I need to do that. I had it right the first time where the first basher goes up and does that. But then I need to have them dig here so that nobody splats. Of course, I think this to here is still splat height anyway, but that's not the point. The point is... Ugh, wow, boy. This is... This is, uh... Whew. This is tiring. Okay, this looks to be going a little more smoothly now, what with all this good stuff. So I'm going to get him bashing through there. Okay, so now, now we got this going on. Okay, we got how many builders we got left to the end? Two? I think we can afford to have a guy turn around and mine the rest of them out. So that, uh, yeah, because he needs to go ahead and, uh, okay, yeah, he needs to go ahead and do the basher business, and he can go ahead and, uh, mine the other guy's Oh, out, yes. How close are you to be... Ooh. I don't like how close you are to being done, sir. I don't like it not one bit. So, let's go ahead and mine now. And I think that might have been too far to... That might have gone too soon. Oh, no. Now he doesn't have a place to bash. <sighs> Just going to try it from here. And that is a ridiculous failure. Yeah, and I forgot to have them do that, so yay me. Oh my god, this is a multitasking 
nightmare. Oh my jeez. And yeah, you didn't go far enough up besides. Yeah, I think I might have to return to the two digger type of thing. Because I still have one left. Well, but no, because what's... Where did I where did I dig that uh do you only have two diggers to begin with? Yeah, I got to get them all going this way. Oh my god, this is going to be Oh, this is rough stuff. Oh my god. All right, slightly different order of things now. We're going to go ahead and have him dig. Oh boy. So now now I don't really know how much I like this. I like how they're getting to the exit just fine. I don't like I don't like where the digging idea is going because I think some of them are gonna go curse splat um, including okay yeah I can go ahead and uh I can have him that was a total waste why did that happen why did that happen now <sighs> ah! okay just to change it up a little I'm gonna have like the first guy do the digging now so that everyone else gets it done pretty much more or less Okay, I think I can concentrate on him for the time being. Okay, so now I go back and I hope, yeah. I was gonna say, hope he hasn't gone down too far, so now, now is the time when I can probably go ahead and turn this guy around. So that gives him plenty of time. That gives the digger time to, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be frustrating. I think I went too low that time, but I think otherwise I've pretty much got it intact. Uh, yeah, right up against the edge of the hill there. Yeah, he went just a tad too low, I think. No, he went just fine. Okay, so that is probably going to do it then. Okay, yeah, he hit just fine, and he hit just fine, and everybody hit just fine, and it's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. No need to panic. So that is two in one, although that's more like seven in one once you really get down to the nitty gritty of it. I guess the whole idea is getting two people together as one thing. That was really sticky. I knew, yeah, and I knew I was going to end up using everything too. That's why I decided to switch over to this little method. But that was ferocious. And pretty much right at the acceptable limit for what I would want out of an actual, you know, hard lemmings level. So yeah, two in one was not too bad, but I think I think that's gonna be the theme for today. Two in one. Like two levels are gonna be all that's acceptable because we've already used up a lot of raw time today. So we're just gonna tss, 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 flicker these torches out, and one hundred percent of our guides have made it, and that's it. We are a third of the way through the Mazo levels, which deserves a medal that you would... That deserves the kind of medal you would get for beating the entire game of Lemmings. You beat one third of the Mazo levels. Here's your Presidential Medal of Freedom. There you go. I will treasure it all my days. Hey, this thing is made of chocolate. What do you know? Well, that's going to do it. I'm going to see you guys next time. We're going to move on to level 11, and I think... This two-level pace might have to become the standard from here on out. Not saying, just saying. I really don't know. I'm never very good at pacing these things, honestly.